No doubt, every stage of a bird's life is important, but this one is arguably the most important stage that we're going to talk about. Hey, I want to ask you to do me a favor, and not really so much me as much as other growers. If you'll subscribe and like that, give that thumbs up on this video, it actually helps the algorithms from YouTube to get this video out further. I usually don't ask, but when I realize that it will actually help get to other growers who may not know about this channel. So if it's helped you, how about give me the thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. The first three days. That is pretty much the most important stage of a bird's life. So a lot of you I mean, all of you obviously are going to get your houses ready. There's a number of things you've got to do. So everything from preheating the house because, you know, birds can't regulate their own temperature. So you've got to get those houses hot. You already know that. You know the temperature is where it's got to be. Uh, along that lines, though, is air quality. You don't want to have too much air moving through there. True, you're trying to keep ammonia down at this time, too, because of blinding chicks. But you got to move the air, but you can't move it too much because you don't want to chill the chicks. So... I said chill, not kill. Chill the chicks, so you don't want to chill them. You want to keep the heat, because they, they're going to need a lot of heat. But that's just one, that's a whole video in and of itself. Another thing is the litter quality. Uh, you want to make sure you got good bedding down there, good dry bedding to start them off. Uh, your lighting, um, and I know a lot of integrators are going to say the first you know, first three days, you're going to run light all the time. I don't know, there's varying lighting programs. We're not really going to talk about that. So you got your lighting, your litter quality, your, your air, your heat, all those things. But really, what we're going to focus on today is feed availability and water availability. They've got to be available. Why is that? Because that first three days is so important for nutrient absorption. So the reason that is, is because of the yolk sac's impact on that chick. So once they are hatched and their body has absorbed that yolk sac, they've got about a day and a half to two days where they're going to be living off the nutrients from that yolk sac. Uh, now that we're in the antibiotic free environment, uh, we're having some chick quality issues and I hear it all the time. Broilers are complaining about chick quality. Well, let me just, let me just help you out broiler growers that Breeders are having some of the same issues that you all are having. They don't have antibiotics in the feed. And those hens may be passing off the same challenges that they are dealing with. So now your chick is starting even further behind. So by the time that chick gets to your farm, it's already got a lot of challenges. Because you probably notice there's a big mortality in the first three days. Um, you may have to start culling some because some of them are just not going to catch up. There's not a lot you can do. So one of the things you can do is make sure that those chicks get as many nutrients as possible. Make sure there's plenty of feed available. Maybe they're not going to get to the, to the feed lands. Maybe you got to put out some trays and some things like that. But my encouragement to you is on these first three days, do everything you can to build that foundation because if you can reduce the early stage mortality, if you can help the birds get caught up that can get caught up, then that means you're gonna have more birds down the line, obviously. It also means that the birds that are going to get through this are going to do better. And that's the whole thing. We're gonna send as many birds with as much weight that have converted the feed into weight as possible so that we can have a more productive grow out in this far. A lot of things to cover there. Just want to hit the highlights, many things to get them started, but really focus on getting them the nutrients that they need to start off so they can get that good foundation. Hope this was a help. Maybe some things to think about or things you already knew and just to be reminded of. Uh, if there's anything else we can do for you, give me a holler, 1-800-608-3755, or email me at uh, alan at southlandorganics.com.